What If Season 2 Episode 5 Thoughts. This episode is called What If Captain Carter Fought the Hydra Stomper. Another episode I love, spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, let's dive right in. So, yeah, we start with the climax of Avengers 1, and let's see, yeah, the, the, the dynamic duo, you know, Natasha and Carter, you know, talk about how punchable Loki's face is. So happy to see Haley Atwell back. Um, I will never tire of seeing her in the MCU, or in this case, hearing her. <laughs> it's pretty funny that Uatu, the Watcher, says, usually I don't do sequels when, I mean, I love the MCU, but it is, like, a lot of sequels. And, uh, yeah, then we get back to the, the yeah. Early events of Captain America, the Winter Soldier. I like that now it's Peggy's in the car and Romanov is the one, you know, running to, to keep fit. So a reversal of our, of this, uh, I guess it's not 616 universe, 999, whatever, universe. So she says that... Romanov says this is not Steve, it's more like Robocop. I mean, appreciate the reference, and I'm 100%, you know, it's, that's an amazing movie. It's not for everyone. I 100% believe that Romanov loves that movie. It's, it's twisted enough to, to fit her, her sensibilities. The, the, and I say that as someone who also loves this, that movie. But Robocop, really? I mean, I guess there's an Ed 209 thing going on, but... Robocop himself, I don't know, I guess some of the time just blindly follows orders. I don't know, it, it didn't come, that reference felt slightly forced for me. And then we have the, yeah, so yeah, basically Steve Rogers has been winter soldiered in this particular universe. And... Bucky Barnes is the secretary instead of Alexander Pierce, which is, is just great. And he's like, no, this is not good enough. There's not enough money to, to help take care of people. And, yeah, pretty cool to see, like, an evil Iron Man. I don't think we've really seen an evil Iron Man since Iron Man 3. I don't know if people just lost the taste for it or... I mean, they really didn't do it outside of Iron Man solo films, uh, you know, before this point. But the Hydra Stomper bears a striking resemblance to the Mark I. And... <laughs> then we have Bucky block the shot, and he, he's, he's willing to admit, this is stupid, but he's like, Steve would do something equally as stupid for me. And... Very tense when they're in free fall, and yeah, you really wonder, are they going to be able to get the Hydra Stomper onto the plane in time? And really love that, that Romanov and, and Carter agree, you know, we're let's do this on our own. And Peggy even says, we don't have time to, to let those, you know, let Tony and, and Banner do the their evil science thing, which... You know, I guess she got a sneak preview of Age of Ultron. And I love that, you know, Romanov is about, you know, Nat is like, what about, and, and Peggy's like, no. If not Stark, you know, like, immediately, like, Natasha's gonna suggest Stark, and Peggy shuts it down just, like, with absolutely no. So, she has interacted with this Stark as well. This is... You know, she's encountered two Starks, not super impressed so far. And, yeah, they talk about, you know, if they go to the Red Room, they can fix uh, Steve. And, yeah, the, the, they're just, they're so great together, uh, Peggy and Nat, uh, you know. I believe the word is BFFs. And... Yeah, if I had one criticism of this episode, I, I wish that Natasha also got to go on the on the time travel there at the end, but I'm guessing they have so many characters 
for that upcoming episode already that it would just be excessive. And I'm sure Peggy's going to play off other characters really well as well. And yeah, Peggy does trust Steve Nat not as much. And, and by the end of the episode, we see he does have at least some free will still because... Him destroying the Red Room was definitely not what they were trying to accomplish. Although, I mean, I know that there's been times where my computer has done the exact opposite of what I wanted it to. So I guess it's possible that that's what's going on. I 100% believe that Clip Barton introduced Peggy Carter to Dad Rock. 100%. That, not even surprised. And, yeah, nice creepy vision of, you know, it's this, like, American suburb town so that Russian spies, Soviet spies, would be able to, you know, fully, like, blend in and, and be accustomed to what it looked like. I've seen this kind of thing a couple of times before. It is always creepy. Alias has another great one. And, yeah, Steve and Peggy talk about dancing again. And I like that in this universe, Bucky had, like, a good life, the way that Steve got at the end, you know, yeah, at the very end of, of Endgame. And, yeah, very, very cool and creepy when the animatronic people start shooting. And, yeah, the Red Room arrives and Melina is back. And according to the opening credits, that actually is Rachel Weisz. See, this was what I had hoped. For. This, the, her appearance of this episode was what I hoped for when I heard they're putting Iron Maiden in the MCU. You know, I haven't read a ton, but this just, this kind of, like, she's so cold and calculating, and, like, you know, she, she remembers that uh, Natasha had, like, a, a bicycle accident, but she uses it to, to, like, help the, the other, um, Black Widows easily, more easily take her out, you know, absolutely love, just, yeah. And, <laughs> and we get, yeah, so that's a very MCU joke, the thing, ah, oh, I think I can see my bedroom from here. We turned it into a gym. And, mission accomplished, very, very creepy. You can't, you know, I don't know whether I want to kiss you, kill you, or dissect you. Why not all three? Maybe, yeah. And, yeah, apparently a musical was made about Captain Carter, which is just amazing. Like, wow. I mean, I'm guessing it's a reference to Steve Rogers, the musical. But, yeah, that that sounds like fun. I wouldn't mind, you know... I, I guess if there's enough support for it, maybe they will make it and put it on Disney Plus or something. And let's see. Very creepy when we see the the beams of light from the red room. The red room was the, the floating red room was significantly more intense here than it was in the actual Black Widow solo movie. And I still stand by. There's some really great stuff about that movie. And it definitely, it's not one of those, oh, you know, it's bad because women. A lot of the best stuff in the movie is because of women. Now, yeah, some really great action throughout this episode. Yeah, really love, you know, Melina as the coach. Ingrid, straighten your back, you know, attack her knee. She has a bicycle injury, you know, all this stuff, just, yeah. And she actually is willing to, you know, she's, yeah, good. And... See. Yeah. Um, Steve Rogers destroys the Red Room, and you know the Watcher says this is—it's not a happy ending, but it's not the end of her story. And Peggy's gonna steal Tony's car. Like, I just love that she's like she's being Tony. Frequently does not treat other people very well, and she's kind of just you know, treating him not super well either as a, you know, I, I think it's one of those things of like, well, you know, you, if you weren't, 
is such a jerk to people, this wouldn't be happening to you, kind of thing. Because she had a car at the start of the episode. She apparently doesn't, you know, yeah. And... <laughs> The, yeah, the, the duo are going to hit the road and go looking for Steve Rogers. But then, you know, and, and we see again um, the Watcher be surprised. You know, who's the, what's that? That's a good question. And, yeah, based on what I'm seeing and what I've heard about an upcoming episode, that the ending does appear to be time travel. And we even they even got Elizabeth Olsen in for, like, one line so yeah really looking forward to I mean if they're gonna do that for just one line I'm guessing they got th that she straight up voices the character in the the upcoming episode so I guess maybe the let's see the next um, yeah I'm thinking it's the the it's the upcoming episode, What If the Avengers Assembled in 1602. I'm guessing that's what we just saw some from. So, yeah, I guess the next couple of episodes will also have someone pulled through time to, you know, yeah, to accomplish this team-up. So, yeah, you know, 1602 team-up sounds great. So, yeah, um, I'm in favor of it.